Thank you to FIFA Coins Online for supplying me the coins or helping me get the coins for this team, guys. So if you need any coins, go and check them out. Well, we are here with a brand new series, guys. I uh, haven't done this before. It was something that I really liked back in FIFA 12. You know, bronze teams were, for me, that was all I really played with. Bronze and silver teams, you don't really get that so much. So that's why it's called Bronze Brilliance. This is episode one. It's going to be a hybrid series where I build some bronze teams for you guys, show you the good players, the bad players. Uh, you know the teams that you can get for pretty cheap these days that are fantastically good as well so uh, make sure to drop a like before anything else for this series if you want to see some more and drop down below guys some comments uh, of some players that you think are fantastic and I'll definitely check them out and try and get them into teams uh, money is no object so just you know link them down there but uh, we've got a goals combination at the end for you guys so just going to quickly run through the players and their prices okay so let's change this formation it's a pretty cheap team. The total price for this team, guys, is four uh, is fifty two thousand, which in today's market really isn't that expensive. So up top, we do have Benzia, fantastic in this game, guys. Four star skills, four star weak foot, seventeen thousand coins. He got five goals for me in six games, which is pretty good, uh, to be honest. This guy here was a little bit of a dis disappointment. Four star skills, three thousand eight hundred coins. He only got two goals for me now. He was more of a setter-up person, if that's really a word, a setter-up. But uh, this guy was probably, for me, one of the MVPs of the team. Uh, three goals doesn't tell the whole story. He goes 900 coins for him, 87 pace. He was absolutely phenomenal for me. Uh, I can't fault him at all. Now, probably the other guy that's leading for MVP. Three goals and six. Uh, you know, brilliant, brilliant player. 1,800 coins for Balchan here. You're going to see a few goals coming up uh, from massively long range. This guy was something that I would call shock. He was bought because it was the only guy that I could use to get full chemistry and link up. But he got three goals in six games and he's 250 coins, guys. None of those stats are phenomenal. He just played out of his skin every single game that I used him in. And that, that's all you can ask for. But we've got this guy here. Uh, one goal, unfortunately. But it was a pretty good goal. Three star skills. Then we'll quickly go through on the back. We've got IU here. Good, good pace. Uh, 350 coins, a goal from him. I think I'm showing that goal as well because it's such a good goal. Then the left back, Ashy, last year fantastic. This year even better. 3,000 coins for him. No goals, three star skills, 89 in pace. Now the two overpowered centre backs. We start off with Opara here. Uh, 20,750 coins, three goals in six games for him. 81 in pace, phenomenal. And next to him, uh, Okugo. He only got one goal, I believe. 2,300 coins, three star skills again on him, 77 pace. And we'll finally stop it with Mr. Hall, a phenomenal goalkeeper, guys. He made so, so many saves for me. Well, now onto the goals, guys. We've got some fantastic ones. We've also got what I consider to be my best clearance I've ever done, if that makes sense, ever, ever had happen. Uh, you'll see in a minute anyway. But this team, guys, honestly, if you can afford it at 50 grand, it'll take probably, it's about 60 because a lot of them you need to change formations and positions and stuff because some of them are quite rare players. Um, honestly, try it out. I mean, 50,000. Also, let me know, as I said earlier, down below, some uh, bronze players. I'm not too clued up on bronze players this year, so let me know some of the bronze players, which are absolutely fantastic. Can be expensive, can just be cheap. Um, you know, cheap players that are absolutely fantastic. So let me know. This is a, a nice little move by the team. Uh, Belgian again, getting in. He's such a good player, guys. Absolutely fantastic. This is the goal line clearance. Uh, it's very, very much like uh, it was uh, in real life football the other day. I mean, that's that's a goal line clearance. And then not to concede as well is just, uh, just unbelievable. But the team itself, I didn't concede too many goals. I think two was the most I conceded in the game. Uh, I could be wrong, but I think it was two. This is, you know, a bad throw by him, but Benzia. Benzia is one of the... He can be frustrating where you want him to score everything, so you try more shots than you probably should do or from longer ranges than you should do. Uh, the only person that could really score super long-range shots for me that I found was uh, Balchan. But uh, the team as a whole really did work together. They defended as a unit and they attacked as a unit. Uh, nice little header here as well. The only goal that he scored for me was uh, that header. Uh, this guy, Cam, Ch Cam Chain, Cam Jane, um, very, very good for 900 coins. You know, you cannot, cannot moan at all about him. That's a shot from the midfielder. It was 250 coins. That was kind of just a bulk player that I needed. Um, you know, <laughs> what could you say? I mean, this is a goal from the the right back as well so the team itself everyone had nice moments everyone scored some nice goals from crazy you know chances and things which is great to see but let me know uh, who you want to see in the next episodes guys be sure to drop a like check out FIFA coins online as well and thank you for watching